And there is several kinds of pollutants in, uh, in the nature. First, uh, there is pesticides and fertilizers. Uh, France is the third pesticide user in the world behind USA and India. And from the activities in uh, town and in industry, there are heavy metals and related, and electromagnetic fields. And um, I will talk to you about uh, the, the, the three, these three pollutants. And also, I can give you uh, an example of, uh, of a synergy between uh, a pesticide and uh, the environment. The cell phone actually represents, since uh, 2000, the year 2000, half, half of the peoples in western, uh, in, uh, in western, uh, in the western world. So uh, I think that since 10 years now, 15 years now, uh, it's, we were able to see a difference in, uh, in effect of the cell phone on, on people. For pollutants, mineral pollutants, the main ones are in France are, are chromium, lead, but a little bit less now lead, copper, arsenic, and cadmium, nickel, and zinc. And we were working on copper, arsenic, and cadmium. Cadmium, for instance, gives several types of effect on cells, and we were working mainly on cell disease and genotoxicity and cell toxicity. And cadmium mainly uh, make DNA damage by reactive oxygen species. And we, we can see it. Uh, All right. Oh, no. Oops. Uh, and right here we can see that they can uh, trigger cell proliferation and epigenetic modification as it was uh, tell earlier. And with some uh, blocking inhibition on cell cycle control, apoptosis, and DNA repair. But DNA damage can, can be seen with, uh, with oxygen, reactive oxygen species. And uh, this led to uh, muta mutation and altered, uh, altered genome and genotoxicity. Chronic inflammation, it was observed that chronic inflammation can be uh, continue, can be keep, keep on by when reactive species are created, and then we can we can trigger the expression of pro-inflammatory genes, which in turn can give a chronic inflammation, and this this led to the mutations at the level of the genome. DNA breaks, DNA adducts, or other kind of damage like protein damage. Uh, for instance, with aluminum toxicity, it was also shown. It was also shown that this aluminum can perturb biological membrane and can bind to active sites and proteins. So. Uh, this kind of pollutant can also be, uh, have a toxicity on cells, on the metabolism of cells inside the cells. We, in two, uh, 2013, uh, we have published a, a, mechanism, a possible mechanism for the uh, electromagnetic fields effect on cells. Friedman had shown, had previously shown that in the Hatchowski days was modified by uh, electromagnetic fields and then produced a lot of uh, oxygen reactive species, which in turn 
it can induce uh, uh, several kinase, protein kinase, MAC kinase, and transcription factors which, which are able to act on the gene expression, not, and mainly, at sometimes at the end of the of, of the pollution, can uh, in, can trigger the expression of oncogene, which in turn activates the cell division and tumor, and. We were able to see that the calcium ion was necessary to the expression of the, uh, this effect. And now we know also that NADH oxidase is a, is a calcium protein that needs calcium for working. So we have a mechanism, possible mechanism, which use also, which as an intermediate, the oxygen reactive species like for mineral pollutant, like for other chemical pollutants. Here, it was described uh, in the cell toxicity, the possible mechanism for cell toxicity uh, of electromagnetic fields uh, with uh, uh, oxygen reactive species, oxidative stress, and HSP activation. Just that led to the physiology change in the cell, gene activation or deactivation, and a proteomic change. It was also described an interesting mechanism coming from exposure to some pollutants, chemicals, radiations, or other one, that led to hypersensitivity and intolerance. But if you add a new pollutant, chemical, or electrical or electromagnetic radiation, you can trigger a higher response of the cells and different signs and symptoms. So, that means that uh, if you use chemicals, then another chemicals or electromagnetic fields, or if you put organism close to uh, uh, radiation or uh, electromagnetic field, and then you add chemical or other kind of pollutant, you can get a large reaction which is not, uh, which cannot be seen with only one of the, of the pollutants. Effect analysis. And there is several description of this effect. First of all, for electrosensitivity people, Gisela Madi uh, had written that the uh, most of the case, case heavy metals do not have any role on uh, electrosensitivity people. But in the same review, Costa and collaborator explained that it could be an alternative explanation. The cadmium, lead, or mercury can induce immunotox immunotoxic effects that this is a release of pro-inflammatory cytokines. And Gezel Amadi, in a response, agree, agree with this explanation. But uh, there is no indication for, for that. But it could be an uh, interesting uh, explanation for the electrosensitivity. Cadmium, when it is associated with a static magnetic field, uh, modify the antioxidant response in liver compared to the uh, cadmium alone. So the addition of both pollutants have a different response. In, in brain, it was Amara, the same, same team, have shown that the cadmium and static magnetic field increase oxidative stress and also Hassan and Abdel Kawi 
have described an increase of modification of molecular structure of proteins by cadmium and electromagnetic field. In uh, using ZAND, it was shown that uh, many, uh, electromagnetic field and ZANG increase glutathione rate, so it was uh, an oxidative uh, stress, and but uh, the, reduce the cell damage. Using uh, zinc, uh, uh, in, uh, uh, okay. well, and they, they have shown, Amara have shown that preventive effect of zinc to metalothionine induction and zinc accumulation in liver and kidney of uh, static magnetic field exposed rats. In, in moreover, Amara and collaborator have shown also that the supplementation by zinc minimizes the adverse effect of oxidative stress induced by the field in rat tissue. So it's possible to change, to have a reverse action by using another product with opolitan. Uh, Mortazavi, who, uh, who, cannot, who was not able to come here, to come today, has shown that uh, there is difference between mercury in urinary mercury for exposed and control group, exposed to MRI, a very strong magnetic field, and it, it, it was shown a mercury uh, release in urine. The exposure to a field also alters the antioxidant response by decreasing the level of selenium in kidney, it was shown by Cobain's the same team that earlier, uh, total selenium in kidney, muscle, and brain. Selenium supplementation increase, ameliorates the antioxidant capacity in red tissue exposed to a magnetic field. So there is an interaction, but not always negative, for uh, two, the presence of two, uh, two elements. And then exposure to long-term LF extremely low frequency may affect the chemical structure and bone metabolism in rats by changing the levels of certain important elements such as calcium, magnesium, and zinc. It was described in 2011. Here, it was our work. It's just an example for showing that the pesticide in different environments can have a different side effect. Here we are not seeing the main effect of the pesticide sulcotrion. The commercial name of the sulcotrion is Mikado or Gecko. It is largely used for in corn fields, maize, and is, uh, is blocking it's it blocking the, the photosynthesis. But we are seeing that the cotillion has a gelotoxicity and induce oxidative molecules, induce enzyme activity of some enzyme, and mainly increase gene expression of several, mm, several genes, uh, catalase, superoxidase, uh, ascorbate peroxidase, HSP70, ubiquitin. And it was not show, it's, it's not shown here, it's not shown here. Uh, there is a AV chromosomal anomalies in cells. And there is a cell death, which is increased in comparison to control by sulcotrion or Mikado. But we can see here that for the gene expression for the enzyme activity for oxidative molecules, there is 
not a lot of difference between the sulfitrion and the formulated product, but cell death is largely increased by the adjuvant, which are put with sulfitrion. The adjuvants were not have no effect on cells. They are neutral. They used to be neutral. And then we have used, we, we try to use uh, a grape pomace from winery, which contain many, a great quantity of anthocyanins and tannins, because uh, it was for uh, using less pesticide. And uh, we have seen some interesting. Oh, we have seen some very interesting uh, uh, possibility for uh, this kind of products, which is a, a derivative of, uh, of uh, winery. And there is no, no extreme, no great difference between the action of great mark and the cells, uh, the cell physiology. A little bit the cell death and. Something else. But if we add grape mark to sulcotrion or to Mikado, we can see this is an increase when compared to the product alone, sulcotrion alone or Mikado alone. And we can see uh, right here, look, this is a difference. And here, we can see some increase of uh, Mikado effect by uh, grape mark, but sometimes for the expression of the superoxide dismutas from chloroplast, we can observe an inhibition uh, of uh, the action of Mikado by grape mark, but and the sulcotrain alone is increased. So this is not only a difference you, in, in, due to the uh, adjuvant, this, this is only this always also uh, interference interaction between the adjuvant, the main product, the active product, and the additive, the great back in the solution. And also we have increase the cell death. So we have here also. Uh, the toxic action, sulcotrion, grape merc, or Mikado, may, even if grape, grape pomace is not really a toxic agent, had, uh, have an, an action by uh, an oxidase and uh, uh, creation of oxygen reactive species, which led to activation of some gene and one of the markers is the cell death, and we can see that great mark and a small action of the cell death. Sulcotrion alone, a little bit more. Mikado, much more. But the addition of sulcotrion and great mark increase greatly the cell death, and great mark and Mikado increase more and more the cell death. So there is, an, there is no product without effect. If you use some products like grape merc, which, which is, there is no problem to, the, it, we can find grape merc in, uh, in food, in cosmetics, in a lot of products. But if you put them with other molecules, you can enhance the response of this molecule and the side effect of the molecules. Thank you for your attention.